Hi, this is Sandy Van Soy for Trekking the Planet. Today we're in Tibet in the country of China and we've been spending about a week here so far going through different parts of the country from the Nepali border and we'll be ending our time here in this main city of Lhasa. Right now we're at one of the passes that we've had to drive over to get to the various places here. These passes range from 4,000 meters to 5,000 meters, about 14,000 feet to 17,000 feet, and you get wonderful views at each pass like you can see behind me. So let's take a look at what we've done while we've been here in Tibet. One of the highlights of our time here was a visit to the north side of Mount Everest. The summit is on the border of Nepal and Tibet and China. Climbers who want to reach the top of the world have the option of starting on either the Nepali or the Tibetan sides. Visiting the base camp has been a dream of ours for some time. After leaving the Friendship Highway, which links the Nepal-China border with Lhasa, we drove 100 kilometers or 62 miles down a rough dirt road. It was fascinating to see the small villages and other sites along the way. As we got closer, our excitement started to build. Would we be able to see Everest? Or would we be disappointed, as many visitors are, to find that the summit is actually clouded over? As we came over that last pass, we were beside ourselves to see the summit clearly visible in the distance. Another highlight was our visit to monasteries in the city of Shinatse and Ganatse during the Sagwadawa festival. This festival honors the birth, enlightenment, and death of Buddha. Thousands of pilgrims come from the surrounding area to walk the traditional circuits around the monasteries. Why in Ganatse, we were fortunate to witness a late afternoon procession of a tonka into the Palacho Monastery. A tonka is a Tibetan silk painting with embroidery, usually depicting a Buddhist deity or scene. The faithful threw katas on top of the tonga as it passed by. Why in Lhasa we spent two full days sightseeing. On the first day, we visited the Dalai Lama's summer palace. We found the grounds peaceful and the historic structures fascinating. Later that day, we went to the Potola Palace, the winter palace of the Dalai Lama. This complex has 13 stories and 1,000 rooms. We climbed to the top of the complex to begin our tour and slowly made our way down through each of the different levels. There were so many things to see, but unfortunately we weren't allowed to take pictures inside. The second day, we visited several monasteries around Lhasa. At the Drepung Monastery, we were able to witness over 100 monks chanting. At the Sarah Monastery, we arrived in time to see the monk debates, which are used as a method to learn the teachings of Buddha and the philosophy of Buddhism. <laughs> Tibet met every expectation that we had. We saw and experienced so much during our 10 days here. That's it for now. Check back with us later. Thanks.